and the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show on the network and JiggyJaguar.com. Okay, Fast and Furious. It is a uh, tremendous, tremendous hour of broadcast excellence, as they say. I don't know who's saying it. don't know why they're saying it, but they indulge the donuts, and let's hope Sandra Lee brought the donuts. We are going to get it going here in just a few moments, and uh, we go to the telephones, and we have got Sandra Lee joining us. Sandra, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. You want donuts? <laughs> yes. It's a, uh, it is... A, I have this friend named Frank Cotolo who has a uh, yeah. has a radio program called Cotolo Chronicles, and he has all these weird sayings that I've ripped off over the years. And one of them is "dollars to donuts," and then he always goes, "Let's hope," and then he puts somebody's name in that they brought the donuts, and so. Oh, cute as anything. Yes. Well, I go to donuts every morning. For my <laughs> So I'm a great, I'm a great commercial for Duncan for sure. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You That's great. A cup of coffee, James Blow, because yes, yes. What, what's going on in this country is I don't know. We got to talk about it. Well, and that is I don't know what we're going to do. It's a mess. That is where I wanted to get uh, your take on things. We have got uh, Sandra Lee with us today. She joins us live. Here in our broadcast, and uh, there seems to be one party that seeks to demonize, criminalize, and extinguish dissent. And uh, everybody agrees that our country is in crisis and agrees that it is the worst crisis since the Civil War. But at the same time, we tell ourselves a comforting tale about the source of crisis that perpetuates the problem instead of providing a path to ending it. And uh, it seems that everybody's divisive. You've got... Uh, this uh, the, this tsunami of hate that is emanating from the Democratic Party. They uh, basically are demonizing, criminalizing, and trying to extinguish dissent from the uh, 75 million supporters of Donald Trump. What, what, what do you make of all the different things going on, Sandra? Well, Biden talks nice, you know, which is very confusing because he seems <laughs> to be very polite. And at the same time, he's stabbing you in the back every minute of the day. Yes. That I find absurd. This $15 minimum wage thing is going to backfire because you know what's going to happen. The business owners can't afford it, so they'll hire fewer people. The defund the police thing, we don't even need to talk about that. How many times can we talk about how ridiculous that is? Black Lives Matter and Antifa having one violent thing, hundreds, hundreds of violent things. And that one thing at the White House, you would have thought it was a, um, a civil war. Not that it was good, but they make this huge thing of it, and they ignore all their own violence. And then Biden's appointing the whole Obama crowd all over again. All the people who were bad guys, according to Trump, are getting their jobs in the Biden administration. Nobody's getting called to account for what they've done wrong. There's way more left right now than Obama even had. They're shutting down this pipeline, which is thousands of jobs. No and boy, this abortion issue, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. They can't, they can't seem to calm it down even. At least let people pay for their own abortions. Don't make people who are so incredibly against this pay it, pay for it with their tax dollars. But there is some good news, James. I don't want you to... Okay, <laughs> what, what, is, what is the good news after all this, the my friend? The good news is I'm going to have my own television show starting March 7th. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, it's, been, it's called Silver Lining because you know me. I'm always looking for a silver lining. Yes. But I'm having a hard time finding one this week, I can tell you. The good <laughs> news is that the COVID cases are slowing. Thank God. Thank God. The market is up. I think that market it makes no sense to me, but for now it's up. The Biden is at least trying to make an appearance of a bipartisan discussion, <laughs> although I, I think it's a little ridiculous. And well, because the, the need is different state by state, and you've got to you got to discuss these things. He's going to push through this huge package, and you know a, a good portion of it is not going to help the people. It's going to be everybody's pork. 
extras that they want. But I've got to try and stay popular, po- uh, positive. I said I would, and I'm going to try really to do that. <laughs> um, there is a popular push to get people back to work. I mean, everybody is talking about, come on, teachers, it's enough. But the teachers, I was a teacher. I am a retired school teacher. I am not proud of the way these teachers are acting. They are using the system. It is totally unfair. They can be completely safe going back to school. These children need to be get, getting back to school. So I'm not happy with that. But I am happy with the fact that at least it's becoming apparent to the American people that there is no harm to teachers or children if they go back to school. Can I think of one more positive thing? I'm yes, yes. Go ahead, ahead my friend. One more. <laughs> there must be one more. Um, I haven't heard enough from Trump. I miss Trump. You know, it was adorable. I heard on Newsmax the other night, Greg Kelly was saying, I miss Trump. But today on Newsmax, what a fight. What a fight there was. Because, because Mike Lindell was trying to push the fact that he has all this proof for um, disruptive, un, unlegal, illegal voting, and he can prove it. And, oh, my gosh, Bob Sellers nearly kicked him off Newsmax. And the poor co-hostess was trying to be gracious and calm everybody down. It was a scene. I don't know if you're going to see more about it, but... You know, a lot of people have not given up on the fact that 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 election was not legal. So I don't know. What can I tell you? (laughs) But four more years, which is the title of my book, which I thought I might as well throw the book away. What what good is it going to be? But that's all they're talking about is four more years for Donald Trump or somebody he wants, like maybe somebody in his family. All they're talking about is he's not going away. He's going to be around for the next four years. Somehow, some way, he's going to influence the country. He's alive and well and raring to go. So let's hope he can get past this ridiculous impeachment thing. I think he will. And that's my final word of good news. (laughs) Well, I am very interested in hearing about this TV show. Uh, what, what, What other details do you have on this? Well, the network is TCNT, and it's going to be, um, it's not on the network, it's on uh, online. Yes. And so I have a wonderful opportunity to develop my first 10 shows, which I would love to eventually get on Newsmax. That's my goal. Okay. I like Newsmax a lot. But it's a wonderful opportunity. It reaches tons and tons of people. And I'm really excited about it. Awesome. Awesome. Sandra Lee Silver Lining. Sandra Lee Silver Lining. We, we definitely yeah, have... Yeah, uh... sing the theme song. I sing Silver Lining. <laughs> you <laughs> sing the theme Save song the even better. Oh, my well, God. You, know, you are tremendous. News, right? <laughs> I cannot wait to see more of this. And I oh, and I God, hope I when it. you get the pilot put together, you send me a copy because I want to see this in action. Because you are you are one of my favorite people, Sandra. <laughs> I have to say. Oh, you're one of my favorites, um, James. So Sandra you promise me that you'll You'll be on my show. Oh, my God. I, I, I will grab my best Hawaiian shirt, and I will jump on Skype with you. <laughs> now, um, Sandra, before we let you go, my friend, how do we get a hold of you online, get your books, all the stuff, my friend? You know, you can get my book from Barnes & Noble. That's it. And if you want to um, email me, email me at brandy 717 at cox.net. I'd sure love to talk to you. And um, as soon as this show is up and running, the first one is March 7th, I'll give you all the information. You can access it and watch a couple of them and see what you think. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, I got to go, my friend, but I appreciate you making time, and we will uh, talk to you next week. Thank you, Sandra. Always. It's my pleasure. Appreciate it, my friend. There she goes, Sandra Lee. And uh, that is that. That wraps it up here from our big broadcast. If you want to find us on the Facebook, ooh, the Facebook, 
Do all that and more at JiggyJaguar.com. If you think we've earned it today, give us a 